God of power and mercy, in love you sent your Son that we might be cleansed of sin and live with you forever. Speak to us as we reflect on his suffering and death, that we may learn from his example the way we should go. Through Christ we pray. Amen. John chapter 12, verses 12 through 14. The next day the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. Lord, you are the king of kings, but we are quick to shout your praises one day and turn our backs on you the next. Help us to journey with you to the cross and beyond to experience resurrection and new life in your powerful name. Amen. Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 29. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 through 41. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death, Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Mark chapter 14, verses 43 through 46. Then, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this time, they laid hands on him and arrested him. Lord, we call you Lord, but lack the will to follow you. We are quick to betray you by putting other things before you. 
Forgive us for our unfaithfulness. Amen. Mark chapter 15, verses 1 through 5 and verse 15. When day came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought him before their Sanhedrin. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, Are you the Son of God? He replied to them, You say I am. Then they said, What further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. The chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barbarus and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Lord, grant us discernment that we may see as you see, not as the world sees. Amen. John chapter 19, verses 1 through 3. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him repeatedly. Mark chapter 15, verse 21. When the chief priests and the guards saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Lord, grant us patience in times of suffering, that we may offer our lives as a sacrifice of praise. Lord, grant us strength of purpose, 
that we may faithfully bear our crosses each day. Luke chapter 23, verses 33 through 34. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Luke chapter 23 verses 44 through 46. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Lord, grant us trust in you, that when our time on earth is ended, our spirits may come to you without delay. Amen. Matthew chapter 27, verses 57 through 60. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance of the tomb and departed. Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 5. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Lord Jesus Christ, your passion and death is the sacrifice that unites earth and heaven and reconciles all people to you. May we who have faithfully reflected on these mysteries follow in your steps, and so come to share your glory in heaven 